Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today we're going to be talking about Hot Wheels ID and piggybacking off of Lamley Group's video that he released earlier this week that Hot Wheels ID is going away. So what's out there, the last wave that we had received late last year, that's it. There's a finite quantity of Hot Wheels ID out there. They're going to be no longer produced. Only way you can get them now is through the secondary market. So today I wanted to talk about that, what it means to the collectors and from an investment standpoint. While I do that, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my collection of Hot Wheel IDs. So everything from the base assortment through the ID chases. Starting with this one here. So this is the Dodge Viper GTSR. This was one of the original Hot Wheel ID cars that launched with the whole entire product lineup. This one specifically was an Apple Store exclusive believe it was around eight or nine dollars you know so i think that was one of the main reasons why this lineup didn't last was price point so the cars themselves were pretty high more expensive than what our current premium hot wheels are and then also if you wanted to take full advantage of the id chip and the app you had to get either the race portal or the smart track uh, which were very expensive additions to the lineup as well uh, i believe the portal was around 40 dollars, and the smart track was like 200 so if you walked into the apple store when this whole entire lineup launched you're essentially gonna drop three to four hundred dollars depending on how many cars you buy and additional smart tracks and all that um i mean again kind of going back to when this was all launched i mean you could have probably purchased a playstation or an xbox so you know from the the kid's standpoint right i mean i mean you had a lot of different options and my guess is kids back then probably would have taken some game console over a smart track and a bunch of interactive hot wheels so moving on let's jump over to the fk8 this is the honda civic type r in red uh, so another telltale sign that i had seen that pretty much told me that the hot wheel id lineup was going to be going away was that i found a number of them including this honda civic type r at dollar tree so to me that pretty much screamed that Hot Wheels and Mattel were starting to liquidate all of these Hot Wheel IDs. It was about the summer of last year, so 2021, I recall me and my buddy had uh, found out that they were selling Hot Wheel IDs at the Dollar Tree, so we pretty much scoured the entire town and picked up, I don't know, 20 or 30 of these things, all, again, at a dollar price point. Um, you know, I couldn't believe it. And it wasn't like it was some old wave. It was like the newest wave at the time, which included the Honda Civic Type R as well as the uh, Joker Bone Shaker. Then come the end of 2021, something that I noticed on a lot of the latest ID casts was that they weren't raking the front end like they were at the beginning anymore, right? So for example, this was the Nissan GTR. This is the blue one. I also have the white one in the background there, but you can see that the front end is raked and it's kind of squished. And the reason they did that was because these were meant to be put on the track. So this clearance in the front end here was to clear all the extra loops and uh, curves on the track. But if you look at this R34 that released kind of towards the fall of 2021, it's our basic R34 cast. There's no modification to that front end. And if that wasn't enough evidence that Hot Wheels was moving away from the ID lineup, here in 2022, we're in about the middle of March, and we're starting to see the FK show up already, but we have yet to see any Hot Wheel ID chase cars in any of these boxes. So, again, just another telltale sign that Hot Wheels ID is going away. And then obviously, earlier this week, Lamley Group, as credible as anybody, uh, noted it on his channel and through one of his videos that the last wave is currently out for Hot Wheels ID. And it sounds like we're not even going to get it at retail stores. It sounds like it's just a distributor or um, hobby exclusive. So what does this mean from a collector and investment standpoint? 
I think we can expect the value of Hot Wheel ID cars to go up. The question is, how much is it going to go up? So Hot Wheels IDs, they're not necessarily premiums, uh, which we all have grown to love. They don't have metal bases. They don't have real riders, but they are highly detailed and you do have Spectra Flame paint. I mean, from a value standpoint right now, everything is pretty much hovering around the $10 to $15 range right now. Um, I know the Tesla Cybertruck, you can actually still get it off the Amazon website right now for $10. So kind of a tip for everybody, uh, definitely a buy low candidate. But some of the heavier hitters like the R34s, they're ranging anywhere from $30 to $50. Uh, and I only expect those to continue to climb. On the flip side, Chase IDs aren't really garnering the type of value I would have expected. So this is, for example, the QK's 2021 ID Chase. This is the Pagani Huayra and this Deep Bronze. So I know this one, when it was released, it was fetching a, a pretty nice value around the $20, $25 range. But it's since come down, I think right now, I mean, it's less than $10, maybe right around that $10 range. But I think with the news, again, that IDs are going away, this could definitely go up in value just from the significance of it being the last one. So if you think about the past Hot Wheels series that have been released in the last 20 to 25 years, and I'm thinking here about Speed Machines, Ferrari Racer, the original Boulevard set, those are all very sought after vehicles and they're commanding a very high secondary market price so for example the original boulevard set cars they're all kind of in that 30 to 40 dollar range depending on the model speed machines are all i would say honestly average about 50 dollars if not more i know some of the higher end speed machines like the ferraris and lamborghinis are all well into the hundred dollar range so i gotta imagine that someday these Hot Wheels ID cars that were, you could almost say they were ahead of their time. When we finally catch up to this style and this format of interactive Hot Wheels, they might come back. Someone will be digging them out of their closet. They'll kind of catch that nostalgia vibe and prices could definitely skyrocket. So again, as I mentioned, a lot of these are kind of still in that 15 to $20 range. Definitely buy low candidates. I mean, you might have to wait a good amount of time but values on these will definitely go up so that's what i got for you guys today let me know what your thoughts are in the comments about hot wheels id let me know if there's any specific hot wheel id cars that you're holding for long-term investment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars